everybody. Azure Sander just pulled away and we had an amazing drop here at the Protective Diet St. George drop. And I wanna show you my haul, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a recipe, a single ingredient recipe to make orange sorbet so that we can preserve oranges that we get from Azure Standard or if you're lucky enough to have an orange tree. And you can preserve these all summer long and enjoy the most delicious, healthiest single ingredient orange sorbet. My freezer is dwindling down this time of year. We're between harvests. Rhubarb is coming on strong. So I'm adding some of that to my freezer, but we've been eating through it. And also we have, you know, the this, this spring crops like kale and cabbage is going out into the garden. Our summer plant starts, tomatoes and our peppers and our okra, that's all going and growing strong and it's gonna be planted out into the garden in about two weeks here. So we're not harvesting much, so we're eating through our freezer. All of my fall harvest, summer harvest, it's dwindling down. So I have room now for citrus in my freezer. I'm gonna show you how I stash these away for summertime sorbet. So this month I got blood oranges. They look beautiful. I think this is probably the last of them. The next citrus to come on will be Valencia oranges. I'm not sure if Azure Standard carries those, but they are a beautiful juice orange that I like to eat. Um, some people like to juice. They're a summer orange. These are the most gorgeous tangerines I think I've ever laid eyes on. I can't wait to dive into these. These are easy peeling, my kind of orange. And then here I have Caracara oranges. These are very sweet. This is definitely, I think, the last of these for the winter. Let's check out the rest of my haul. So my pantry is stocked up with all of my staples, but this time of year, I take advantage of the produce from Azure Standard. My lettuce is just going out into the garden and coming back from last year. It's beautiful, but my freezers are, are getting bare. So I'm taking advantage of all the freshness they have to offer to me. I froze so many apricots and peaches last year and mulberries, oh my gosh and green beans, and okra, and tomatoes, and oh, the tomato sauce that I've been, I've been roasting those frozen tomatoes straight out of the freezer. I included some basil in there with them, and we've been having the greatest roasted pizza sauce, pasta sauce, salsas. I have jalapenos in my freezer, Fresno chilies, ghost peppers, I've been making hot sauce, fermented hot sauce, all winter long with those freezer staples. I have two fridges back here, and they are powered by wind turbines. It's pretty awesome. So we're good to go there. So I can buy all of this beautiful romaine lettuce. They have this gorgeous organic romaine lettuce, and I buy it by the case, and it lasts me. We are veg heavy here. Jerry and I eat a whole food plant-based diet called the protective diet. So we will blow through this lettuce, no problem. But I wanted to show you how I store this and how I keep it in my refrigerators. You can see it's pretty bare in here now because I've been waiting, eating through everything in my freezer and eating through with what's sprouting up in the garden in preparation for the arrival of all of this gorgeous romaine lettuce. Thank you, Azure Standard. And that's how it fits in there. We eat a plant-based diet, so we don't have a lot of other things in our fridge besides fermented foods that I make with the harvest. I have fermented salsas in here from my cherry tomatoes from last summer. These are just waiting for me to blend them up 
slow ferment when they're put into the fridge they will last a year this way in this box is some more freshness lemons those were on sale this month put them in this side I have these drawers ready for my citrus and then I have the kale. This is the three pack of the Lacinato kale. I love it. And another three pack. That's great that it will store just like that. Oh, and they wrap this so beautiful. I have to unwrap this for you because I want anyone that hasn't ordered fresh produce from Azure yet to see how the care that goes into the delivery of this beautiful organic kale. Their herbs come like this too. And I have herbs popping up in my garden now, but they supported me through the winter with cilantro and parsley. Oh my gosh, listen to it. Fresh picked kale. So this kale, what I do is a dry steaming technique in my Instant Pot. The technique for that, I'll link the recipe, the video for that, or the recipe in the comments below if you want to check it out, how we get kale into our daily diet. Really easy to toss into pasta dishes and rice dishes. Celery. Thank you, Azure Standard. It is incredibly fresh. Jerry. <laughs> All right, put that on this side. I'm saving space on that side for citrus. As well as in my freezer. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go through the dry goods here. So here I have castor oil. I use this in a deodorant recipe, an all-natural deodorant. Works great with lavender, mixed with lavender. Jerry likes it with sandalwood. And I also put it all over my face every night before I go to bed with a little bit of frankincense. Check out those sales. And this is Bug Away. It's an essential oil that I hope helps me out because I've been attacked. Oh, it smells pretty good. Yeah, I can handle that. Let me try. I'm <laughs> um, I have been attacked by no seams. This is a challenge I have with my regenerative style gardening. It's not just a garden anymore. It's turned into a small farm. Uh, when my friends come over, they're like, Julie, you're a farmer. This is a farm. And it's gotten bigger and bigger. But with regenerative gardening, we leave all of our plants in the garden over the winter to protect the pollinators and to feed the microbes and those microbes and the ladybugs are crawling out of the soil now when I go to plant things and the worms the abundance of worms gardening this way is incredible and their manure or castings as they're called is one of the secrets to the productivity in my garden and so I'm going through and I'm clearing away all of last year's plants. I'm not pulling them out. I'm cutting them off. And I'll do a video about this soon because we're doing it right now. But as I do this and I break down the top of the tomato plants that are dried, it makes a perfect top mulch. So I'm, I'm getting free mulch out of this process. But those roots that are in the ground of the tomato plants and the last year's green beans and everything that I left in there is feeding the microbes that is then going to feed this year's plants. No fertilizer needed. And then lastly, this is something new I tried last month. I tried one and this month it went on sale. So I bought two cases. And the reason that I'm incorporating this into my protective diet, this is um, organic fair trade instant coffee. It's delicious, but I'm not a coffee drinker. 
but I'm having one cup in the afternoon because I wanted to add chlorogenic acid. That's the phenol, the polyphenol that's in this coffee, in light to medium roast coffees. That is very, very protective and good for our microbes, our microbiome. It makes an environment that they thrive in. So I have a cup of this. We have a lot of different protective beverages we make that we source through the herbs and spices through Azure Standard. But this one's a new one that I've added in and I loved it so much. I'm not, this is gonna take me a long time to get through it. A cup or two a day in the afternoon, Jerry joins me. Um, but it was on sale. So I put two cases in my cart and that's how I shop through Azure Standard. I, I go through those sales and when I find things that are on sale, I tell my protective diet community about it because we're all eating the same ingredients over and over again and saving with Azure Standard. But I could go on and on about things I ordered this month, but I wanna show you this single ingredient, orange sorbet. Sorbet is in the house. Yep, just oranges. That's how we're doing it. And I'm showing you how to do this, part of protective diet education. But just in case you don't have a Breville food processor or a food processor with an S-blade, I wanted to mention these are fantastic frozen oranges. You let them defrost just a couple minutes and they're still hard and frozen but perfect for a cooling summer treat. Citrus in the summer. You can preserve your oranges, get them in the freezer, peel them, freeze them flat on a sheet pan, and get yourself a food processor so you can make this orange sorbet with Jerry and me. Do you have a lot of oranges? Tangerines, blood oranges is what I'm working with today. I have a lot of them, so I'm making some sorbet. It's a great way to preserve your orange harvest or oranges you receive in bulk from Azure Standard or from a friend's tree. And we can have orange sorbet all summer long. So peel them. Put them on a tray, segmented, into the freezer, and forget about them until they're frozen. They're frozen solid. Now I'm gonna load them all into my food processor with the S-blade. You don't have to load them all. Whatever ones you don't use, put into an airtight container and back into the freezer for another day. So this is a great way to preserve a citrus harvest or citrus season if you have an opportunity to order citrus like I do from Azure Standard in bulk. Just about enough for Jerry and I. Okay. It's going to look kind of icy. I blended this for like a minute and a half to two minutes until it's like this citrus ice. Take the S plate out and give this a minute and it's going to get creamier as it starts to soften up a little bit as it starts to melt a little okay i just want to show you the texture it's like it's like really flaky now it's starting to stick together as it sits here a little bit and that's what we want initially it's like really loose because it's very frozen. Getting out my ice cream scooper for this one. 
packing it in there. You made quite a bit of this. Jerry, I hope you're up for it. If not, scoop them just like that and put them in an airtight container. And then we have a couple more nights to go into the freezer. And what I would recommend doing with this is taking your scoops out and putting them in a dish when you start dinner. If you're serving, the, if you're scooping this, blending this and scooping this ahead of time for a dinner party or for your kids to be able to grab a treat out of the freezer, I would recommend taking it out, putting it in a dish and putting it in the refrigerator for about an hour before you dive into this so that it softens up because as it comes to room temperature, or it's not coming to room temperature, but as it's warming up, it's becoming more creamy and it's much nicer on the palate. It, it, oh my gosh, it doesn't get any purer than this treats from winter this summer. So stock up on the last of citrus, or if you're lucky enough to have a friend or maybe you have a Valencia orange tree, those are summer oranges. You can get those in your freezer. But I'm stocking up this month on tangerines from Azure Standard because they still have them. They might even have more blood oranges. I'm going to take a look now. If you're going to make single ingredient orange sorbet, comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you want more recipes along with my Azure Standard hauls. Take care. And best of health.